So draw the smallest arrows. So that's going to be this one. Okay. Three newtons. Um, ooh, what did I have to remember to do within drawing the first arrow? I had to label it. Label it. Put the tips okay. on the arrow. Don't change direction or magnitude. Label it. Okay, so those are kind of the subtext within that first thing. Draw the smallest arrow. All right. Boop. This is kind of the uh, this is the important bit. Step two. Andrew, you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Arrows are not lines. Step two. Hello. Draw the second smallest arrow in which the tip of the arrow is the start of the next smallest arrow. What say what? So draw the second smallest arrow in which the tip of the arrow is the start of the next smallest arrow. So what arrow am I drawing now? Four in. Where am I putting it? Tip. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to eat that. Look faster than that. Here in Until when, Nathaniel? There's a freaking pair that open. Jeez. Jeez, so can I socialize in class? Stop trying to interact. If you're going to be a scientist, you need to learn how to be socially awkward. You need to stop making eye contact. You need to start staring at your shoes. This is what my the college essay is about. Fight me. <laughs> is Pear Deck in science class? No. It could be, though. I could add that as another as a hook or something. Okay, things you shouldn't leave open. Blue, <laughs> obviously. How long your hands go? Animated series and movies. <laughs> now here's uh, here's the thing, kids. This is science. Don't prejudge, okay? So we're gonna repeat that step until we're out of arrows, okay? So I'm gonna repeat that step. So I'm gonna draw. Ooh, ooh. All right, so I'm feeling like uh, we need a nip then. Like some of you were kind of saying, like, do a certain thing. Eh. I'm looking for an if then statement here to finish this thing off. Okay. So what's an if then statement? that gets at the whole marshmallow of why we're drawing this diagram. Okay, so run that by me. 
sports are in the bed. Good question. Not just an if statement, throw a then on there too. Oh boy. <laughs> oh Gary. I'm talking to the pair deck, dude. This is how online classes work. You just talk to the screen. So, Jenga. All right. So, these folks all kind of seem to be cooking the same soup here. So, the tip of the last arrow connects to the end of the first arrow, then the forces are balanced. If all the arrows are connected end to end in a loop, then you are done, and the forces are balanced. If the arrows make the polygon or a complete shape, then the forces are balanced. So, throw this into the mix over here. And based on some of the things I was reading in there, I want to throw a few example uh, free body diagrams at you. Because we talked earlier about this one. Is that going to make a triangle if I follow our rules here? No. Nah. But are we, if we follow our directions, are we going to be able to establish that those forces balance? Okay. So I'm going to draw... Ooh, and I guess the other thing I should ask too, right? We said start by drawing the smallest arrow. So let me back this up here real quick. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Do these still get at the same idea? Does it matter which one I draw? Oh, bro. Is that me? I definitely just erased control everything. Control Z the hell out of that. What are you doing? <laughs> I was 100% right. me. Well, look at this one. <laughs> All right. Compare this one to this one. Are these identical drawings? But do they both get at the idea that the force is balanced? So, Quincy, what is Sorry. 3 plus 3 plus 5? Sorry about it. Yeah. In here, what is 3 plus 5 plus 2? And what is 2 plus 5 plus 3? Manual, what is 17 squared? Okay, so does it matter the order of the numbers that we add together? 2 plus 3 plus 5, 5 plus 3 plus 2, three plus, 2 plus 5, does that matter? What's that called? That's called the commutative property of addition, yeah? Okay, so there's a commutative property of addition for arrows as well. You don't have to draw the smallest one first, it's just more aesthetically pleasing, okay? Uh, but anyways, I can go over here and I can draw these arrows... Come on. And we go arrow, 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 arrow. Does it make a triangle? Are they balanced? Am I using the Pythagorean theorem there? Sometimes I might, but not on this one. Okay. Um, but yeah, there you go. So you must connect the arrows. Okay. It doesn't necessarily mean we need to connect them. All together in the end. What would happen? What would happen if I did? Ooh, let's just do this. Let's get rid of one of these. Let's say that's not a thing. Then in my diagram, that's not a thing. What does that mean? It's not balanced. Okay. So that's our if then. If the arrow, if the last arrow connects to the beginning of the first arrow, or it's about, so it does it. What does that mean? I'm not balanced. Okay. So what I need you to do here with the uh, remaining seven minutes, damn it is uh, go ahead and make some YMCA's in your sheet there for part one and part two, okay? Scaled YMCA's. Don't cheat, this is science, man. 
So draw the arrows of the proper leg and draw the direction that they are in your free body diagram. And if they don't meet up, all we're establishing is what the measurement uncertainty is. Okay, don't make something happen. So what I'm looking for from you is you're going to do this type of thing, scaled with proper angles and lengths for part one and part two. Yeah. What am I doing? Oh, look at me go. Thank you. Make the turtles. Sea turtles. Sea turtles. Take it, guys. We're so off. Like the drawing. Whatever.